Hey everyone, it's Big Co again, your Go High Level Ninja. So this is going to be a part two of the three series that we're going to be talking about the mind map of all of Snapshot. This video, as you can probably tell by the title, that we're going to talk about the onboarding snapshot. So if you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe. It's going to have everything you're going to need about Go High Level and everything that you need to know, explore, new tips and tricks old tips and tricks, we're gonna include everything. Like, and actually, if you have any, any question about what I am saying here and it doesn't make sense to you, make sure that you reach out and drop a comment, right? As of the time of recording, the most active platform that I am on right now is LinkedIn and Facebook, okay? I'm gonna leave a link about everything you need to know in the comments, so check it out, okay? So, who is this for? The onboarding snapshot is for agency owner actually who, who looking to on automate their onboarding process, who um, have their sales process sorted out, their prospecting you know process sorted out, and they just have a lot of clients at their hand right now, and they're just thinking, what can I do to free up more of my time right now in terms of automating my onboarding and my fulfillment and getting the best result for my client? Because the more you can automate on that part the more you can actually work on your products, which result in client success, okay? If you actually agree to that, give me a thumbs up on that. So let's talk about how you actually can get this. This is a free snapshot. If you are an, a brand new agency owner looking to get a 14 day free trial, right? No upfront cost to you, no investment, you know, no upfront investment to you. I'm gonna be giving you this snapshot during your trial. You can check it out during that trial without any upfront investment. But if you are an agency owner who already already have a Go High Level account, make sure that you click a link somewhere in the description. It will lead you to a landing page which you can put up a one-time investment that's gonna give you a lifetime access to this snapshot. And we can have a walkthrough video. I'm gonna link that somewhere in the beginning and at the end of this video and also in the description. So you can actually look at everything in a finer detail because this video we're gonna talk about a very, very high High level and a bird's eye view on what the snapshot look like. That's what the mind map mean anyway. Um, hopefully does that make sense to you? So again, if you're new, like, make sure that you subscribe. I should be having more subscribers than this because the video is actually generating a lot of view. But make sure that you like for the upcoming uh, video. So let's actually get started and talk about the snapshot. Um, if you haven't watched in the last video, we're talking about the prospecting pipeline, where the end of the pipeline is when you onboard a customer. Okay, so when you onboard a customer, you want to be sending a Stripe invoice. This is what most people use and myself use anyway. Stripe is integrated with a lot of stuff like PayFunnel, all that stuff. When the invoice paid, you want to create a trigger either through Zapier or through anything that you can find off with like uh, Integromat or a lot of new things out there. You want to make a trigger. Right, that Stripe invoice gonna be notified your email, your team, your Slack, all that stuff, and that trigger will move that contact right in high level to a new pipeline, right? And that when the onboarding process is going to begin, right? Hopefully you can see this on the yellow part. Trigger move to a new onboarding pipeline. Okay, hopefully that makes sense for now. After that, the onboarding process begins. An email will get sent out to them, asking them to make an account with us. It's just really basic detail for now, like, you know, what's your name, uh, what's your address, what's your email address, what's your business address, and all that stuff. Basic information enough to create a new Go High Level sub account for them. And by doing that, we are going to, after they fill in that form, a trigger in Zapier gonna be um, fire up. So when a form submit, you know, there's gonna be another video about the account creation. I make sure to uh, link that somewhere. If you're not sure on how to do an account automation creation, all that stuff, drop a comment. I will make sure that uh, you get that sort. But it's actually a bit complicated and it need to have its own video on that and we can't run through that. So once they fill that out, they make a new account with Zapier on automation. Okay, right? They make a new account and um, an email go out an email go out with their login detail. You must be asking me right now, how can we generate that credential for them automate like on automation? So what what happened behind the scene is when the account is made, they you know the system gonna add a user to it. Okay. So that user login detail is what you put in, in, in the Zapier. So the user login is always should be the email address that they put into the form and the password should be always a, a constant, right? And the loop, the loophole to that is like the password should be constant like Apple or 
coconut or orange, right? Just put that in your email. The only way we want to do that so we can automate better and keep the process very simple. The loophole to that is that once they receive that email, once they log in, the first video they see is asking them to change it to their own password. That's probably like the best case scenario and the best workaround that I can see around it. If you try to make a custom variable and a custom field with the login, such as password and, and, and email, you are gonna spend so much time, unnecessary effort for, for a minor thing that doesn't matter. Like I don't have any client complain to me right now saying why is the password is a constant and sometimes they don't know that it is, that it is a constant. All right, so do not overthink it. I see a lot of agency owner overthink that, that sort of part. Don't fall for that trap. Just do what I, you know, do what it is in the snapshot. That email template gonna be in our onboarding snapshot. Just literally follow the concept, okay? You don't have to use a constant password like we do. I mean, our constant password, right? I want probably coconut, but you can just change it and put Apple or something like that, okay? After they get sent a login email, in the same email, we're gonna ask them to fill out a new form, which is an onboarding form. So if this is going to be different from the account request form. So there are gonna be two forms, right? Account request form, which create a new account for them with Zapier and automation. This onboarding form, which is a second form, which is going to trigger the whole onboarding process. And this form is going to be a lot longer, going to be a lot more detailed. So we're going to ask them like, you know, what email should we send the lead into? And, uh, you know, what's your opening hour, which we're going to set it up in the calendar for you. What's your, what's your ideal avatar? That's sort of, questioning and marketing question but again i'm gonna have the video the walkthrough video and a setup video somewhere around this video at the end and at the beginning right so you know so you get an idea of what we're talking about because i'm going to show you the form in that video so if anyone who have not known me yet my name is Vico kang from vehicleized online consultant i run a small six figure marketing agency that serves real estate agent in australia and new zealand to get more listing and be more profitable in their business at the same time, you know, we also an official Go High Level partner. We have actually onboarded 200 plus agency owner onto the software at this time of recording. So if you haven't got an account yet, make sure that you actually click the link on the description to make sure that you are actually using our affiliate link to get an account to get that bonus extension when it comes to the free trial. So you're going to get a 30 day free trial when you're actually using our affiliate link. High Level itself is originally offer a 14 day free trial, but because we are an official partner with them, you are actually getting the benefit of the 30 day extension when it comes to the free trial, as well as qualify for our bonus gift and our snapshot. If you want to know more detail about the bonus gift and the help and the support, the snapshot that we actually offer for new user as, you know, AKA new affiliate that join High Level through us, make sure that you also check the link in the description as well. Without further ado, let's get onto the video. Once they fill in that form, they're gonna go through a whole automation process, okay? Right, so there's gonna be two parts, one they fill out. One is in the native high level end, which uh, which happen by the trigger, all right? Other one is happen outside high level, is happened by the Zapier, right? So in Zapier, a new role will, will get filled up. So we get this new client come in, that's his address, his email, his answer to, to this question, his opening hour, all that stuff. And a Slack channel we created. And uh, you know, at the same time, we invited like relevant members such as your account manager, your Facebook ad manager, staff, like invite all of them maybe invite yourself as well and notify team and also send message to that channel and say hey welcome this is your account manager this is your ad manager this is myself i will overlook everything send what message you want to send them like a welcome message okay and then after that it will create a click up task right we're using click up as our account as our task management tool for now like most people are using nifty uh, they're using what other stuff they're using a lot of like asona and all other stuff but the same concept here still apply hopefully you can see this as a bigger picture and the whole point we're talking about this is so you can build this snapshot without paying anyone that's what that's my goal if you can look at this and you understand it and you actually want to actually build your own automation this is probably for you just look at it from a bird's eye view look at it from a bigger picture create it's going to create one task and that one task is going to have a subtask really easy and that and that subtask is going to have a checklist and that checklist is going to have a due date and that due date 
and all of the tasks gonna have priority set. Which one is important, which one is less important, which one is urgent, okay? So that's what you wanna have set up. In any task management tool, they should have that. They should have checklist, they should have due date, and they should have priority. When it come in, and uh, all of that information will get assigned to your fulfillment VA, okay? If you have not got a fulfillment VA, the next video will be for you. The next video will be the recruiting snapshot where we're gonna go out to the market. We're going to be getting a lot of traffic from our, our job post, and we're gonna filter 200 applicants to a handful and we're gonna pick the best VA, the best commitment, uh, the best talent rock star out there. That's the automation on the Zapier. On the internal side, it's going to be a high level side, right? So what happened is we're gonna be sending them a membership login, right? A membership login is, uh, if you're new to high level, a membership is a feature in high level where you can upload a bunch of video and you can put it on the side menu and people can watch your onboarding procedure. In our case, it would, you know, our onboarding procedure, including a business manager access, sell training, team communication, CIM training, expectation, everything. All those five points is important. I recommend that you should have it on, on your own. And if you're getting our snapshot, you will have our exact video, right? You will have our exact video. And uh, some of it, you know, you can get away with using it. Like some of it is white label, right? Um, I don't really mention my brand too much in all of the video. And you can just use our video, right? Use our video and imagine how much time it would help you save. Like, like it's no brainer. Like, like I said, most people that actually bought on Vest in the snapshot is the content in the membership area. It's just so much, right? I can show you after after we finish the flow, but after that, they also getting an onboard email. So they will get a trip email, you know, on the first week say, hey John, just checking up on you, how's it going? How's the lead? How, how you seeing our, our performance? How happy you at? All that stuff. And also give them a bit of expect, keep reminding them the expectation, right? You gotta be on time. You gotta be calling the lead on time. You gotta follow up, right? This is your business. Your success in your business is, respons is your responsibility. We're here to help, but we're not here to slave, right? We're not here to, your business success is your responsibility. That's the message and the expectation every agency owner should set. Your business success is your responsibility. And if you have a problem, it's probably your personal problem manifest to your business problem. It's probably not the lead. It's probably not the Facebook lead. Don't blame the Facebook lead, okay? And we got, we're gonna have sales training. Let's say we're gonna help them get over you know, the fence of calling people, booking appointment and follow up. But I wanna show you, like keep this excited, right? If you like this, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I know I keep reminding you to do that and I think I remind people too much now. Please don't get pissed. But this is our onboarding snapshot, right? Like I said, there's a mindset here that I haven't included, but you know, I didn't include it to the uh, to the mind map, but we definitely have a mindset a uh, mindset section, um, Facebook business manager access, onboarding information, how to share a photo, team communication, database reactivation. Um, they can watch the video and then they can do it themselves or we're gonna be doing it for them for free, right? For an investment. Sales training, very important. That's what I mean, sales training. And the expectation is gonna be here in that video. So I make it very, very generic. It's not branded. You can use our video. Trust me when I say this. I can show you a few of uh, a uh, few pieces of the video, but I don't want to track this video too long. I want to keep it under 15 or 16 minutes, right? Cool. We're going to have a CIM walkthrough and, you know, in case I want to switch to a done with you or, you know, you know DIY, I just have this training up there. But this is what our um, snapshot look like as an overview. Like I said, I hate looking and I hate seeing other agency owner invest in a snapshot that doesn't work. Just leave it sitting there and not making it work work for your business and not making the ROI. What we have is we're gonna show you the entire process so you don't have to pay anyone. You can build it yourself. And if you do want to actually invest in this snapshot, there's gonna be two options. You can do it for free. Just get a 14 day free trial and check it out. There is no risk to you. There is no investment to you. Um, you get one of the snapshot, either the prospecting, this one and the recruiting. And um, yeah, if you have any other question, leave it in the comment. What other thing do I have to say? Uh, I'm forgetting right now. Yep, I just wanna say, it. if you like this, share question in the comment. And if you find value in it, give it a like. Reach out to me on Facebook. Hey guys, if you enjoy watching the video, make sure that you're also checking out this content right there.